Hello, fitness enthusiasts. Before we dive into our topic, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fitness insights. Today we're going to talk about something that's often overlooked in the quest for muscle growth, progressive overloading. Progressive overloading is a principle that pushes us to continuously challenge our muscles in order to stimulate growth. It's like this. If you're lifting the same weights week after week, your muscles adapt to the stress and stop growing. It's not enough to maintain the status quo. You need to shake things up to push a bit harder each time. Think of it as a staircase. Each step represents an increase in weight or repetitions. To reach the top, you need to take one step at a time consistently and methodically. The same goes for your muscles. If you want them to grow, you need to constantly increase the weight you're lifting or the number of repetitions you're doing. Without progressive overloading, you're essentially taking a stroll on a flat path. You're moving, sure, but you're not climbing, you're not reaching new heights. And that's what we want, isn't it? To reach new heights, to see progress, to witness our bodies becoming stronger and more capable. So the next time you hit the gym, remember this principle. Challenge your body, push your limits. Because if you're not challenging your muscles, you're not growing. And remember, every step you take on that staircase is a step closer to your fitness goals. Moving on to our second point, let's talk about protein, the building block of our muscles. When it comes to muscle growth, protein is the star of the show. It's like the bricks used to build a house. Without enough bricks, the house can't grow, right? The same goes for our muscles. Protein is a crucial component in repairing and rebuilding our muscle fibers after a strenuous workout. When you lift weights, you create tiny tears in your muscle fibers. It's protein that swoops in, repairs these tears, and in the process, helps your muscles grow stronger and bigger. But what happens when you're not getting enough protein? Well, it's like trying to build that house with a limited supply of bricks. Your muscles struggle to repair themselves, and muscle growth can be significantly limited. So, how much protein should we be consuming? While individual needs can vary, a good rule of thumb is to aim for about 1 gram of protein per pound of your body weight each day. This means if you weigh 150 pounds, you'd aim for around 150 grams of protein daily. And remember, the quality of protein matters too. Opt for lean sources like chicken, fish, eggs, and plant-based proteins. Don't forget, protein shakes can also be a convenient and effective way to meet your daily protein goals. Don't skimp on your protein, folks. It's your muscle's best friend. Next up, we're discussing a critical factor in muscle growth, consistency. The path to muscle growth is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It requires patience, persistence, and above all, consistency. Imagine this, you're building a tower, brick by brick. But if you only add a brick once in a blue moon, the tower will not grow. The same principle applies to your muscles. They grow when you consistently stimulate them with resistance training. However, inconsistent gym schedules can be a major roadblock. Skipping workouts or frequently changing your training routine can hamper your progress. It's like taking two steps forward and one step back. You might see some progress, but it will be slow and staggered. Consistency doesn't mean you need to hit the gym seven days a week. It means sticking to your workout plan, whether it's three, four, or five days a week. Consistency also involves maintaining the intensity of your workouts. It's about pushing your limits every single time. Keep in mind that consistency extends beyond the gym. It's about consistently fueling your body with the right nutrients, consistently getting enough sleep, and consistently staying hydrated. So, if you're serious about muscle growth, make consistency your mantra. Be consistent in your workouts, your nutrition, your rest, and your hydration. Remember, muscle growth is a journey, and consistency is your reliable companion on this journey. Consistency is key. Make your gym schedule a non-negotiable. Now let's talk about something we all love but might not get enough of, sleep. The significance of sleep in muscle recovery and growth cannot be overstated. It's during this time of rest that our bodies get to work repairing and building muscle tissue. It's a bit like a construction site. The lifting you do at the gym is akin to piling up bricks and materials, but it's during sleep that the building really happens. When we sleep, our bodies release growth hormones that aid in muscle repair and growth. Without adequate sleep, this process is cut short, and muscle recovery and growth can be hindered. Think about it this way. If you're only sleeping 4 or 5 hours a night, you're robbing yourself of precious hours of muscle building time. Furthermore, lack of sleep can also increase levels of cortisol, a stress hormone that can break down muscle tissue. 
This adds another layer of challenge to your muscle growth goals. Now you might be thinking, but I feel fine on just a few hours of sleep. Well, you might feel fine, but your muscles might not. They need time to recover and grow, and that time is predominantly found in the hours you spend sleeping. So if you're hitting the gym hard, lifting heavier each week, and powering through your protein shakes but not seeing the muscle gains you're after, it might be time to take a look at your sleep habits. Your muscles grow when you rest, not when you lift, so ensure you're getting enough sleep. Hydration, another crucial factor, often gets sidelined in our fitness discussions. However, it is as vital as any other aspect of your muscle building journey. Let's dive into why. Water is the main component of our muscles, making up about 75% of their composition. It acts as a medium where all cellular activities occur, including the metabolism of the muscle building protein we talked about in scene two. A well hydrated muscle cell can create protein faster, leading to quicker muscle growth. Dehydration, on the other hand, can wreak havoc on your muscle gains. When your body is dehydrated, it can't efficiently transport nutrients to your muscles, which can slow down protein synthesis and muscle growth. Not only that, but dehydration can also lead to muscle fatigue and cramps, affecting your performance in the gym and hindering your progress. How much water should you be drinking then? Well, it varies from person to person, but a general rule of thumb is to aim for at least 8 glasses of water a day. And remember, if you're sweating a lot during your workouts, you'll need to replace that lost fluid, so you might need to up your intake on training days. In conclusion, don't neglect your water intake. Hydration is not just about quenching your thirst, it's about fueling your muscles and optimizing your performance. Stay hydrated, folks. Your muscles will thank you. Last but not least, let's talk about diet, the foundation of muscle growth. When it comes to building muscle, your diet plays a pivotal role. It's not just about the quantity of food you consume, but the quality as well. Your body needs the right balance of proteins, carbs, and fats to fuel your workouts and promote muscle growth. Proteins are the building blocks of muscle. They repair the damage done to your muscle fibers during intense workouts, helping them grow bigger and stronger. Carbs are your body's primary source of energy. They fuel your workouts and replenish your glycogen stores post-workout. Fats, especially the healthy ones, play a crucial role in hormone production, including those involved in muscle growth. But here's the catch. An unhealthy diet can work against your muscle building efforts. Foods high in sugar and unhealthy fats can lead to weight gain, but not the kind you're after. These foods can cause fat accumulation, not muscle growth. They also lack the essential nutrients your muscles need to grow. So, if you're serious about gaining muscle, reevaluate your diet. Include lean proteins, complex carbs, and healthy fats. And don't forget your veggies and fruits. They are packed with vitamins and minerals that aid in muscle recovery and growth. Remember, your diet is as important as your workout in your muscle building journey. It's the foundation upon which your muscles grow. So eat clean, train hard, and watch your muscles grow.